how to create your first task in ClickUp. Hi guys, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a new task in ClickUp. So let's start. The link for ClickUp is given in the description down below. You can go ahead and check it out right now. ClickUp is a project management software and the base of ClickUp is creating different tasks and managing them. So that's what I will show you today. Once you sign into your ClickUp, you will open up your board or a list view. So on ClickUp, creating a task is really easy. You can create a task within a list or a status with this create option right here. Then we have new task option here as well. But the quickest way to create a task is going to be this button right here at the bottom of your screen. You can also use a shortcut T and create a new task. Click on task right here and it will open up the window for you. Now here I can go ahead and create a new task. The first thing is going to be naming your task. So this is the name for my task. Now once you have added the name, you will have to select a location for the task that you have created. Now we can create different, we can select different boards and different workspaces and then we can select different lists. So I will go ahead and select this one right here and select a list. Once you select a list, then you will have to select a status. Make sure to select a status, otherwise it will be added to a default list on ClickUp. So you can select different statuses from here that you have created in ClickUp. Let's go with ready. Now I have the name and status. We also know the location for our task. Then we can go ahead and assign it to someone. Assigning a task makes it very easy to assign a task to a team member. You can assign a task to more than one team member in ClickUp. I will assign it to myself and another team member. If I want to delete the other team member, I can just click on this cross and they will be deleted. Now the members that we add in assignees are also the watchers. You can see right here, if I click on the eye icon, I can see that I am the watcher for this task right here. Watchers are actually the followers that can follow this task and edit it and watch it. But if you want to increase the watchers, then you can go ahead and select them from here without assigning them the task. Perfect. Now my task has an assignee and watchers. We have descriptions right here and we can add description for our task and use different writing tools. You can write anything in the description and we can also make our text bold, italic and use different fonts and colors. You can also use slash for different commands. For example, checklist, dividers, bulleted listed, table, code block and toggle list. Let's go with a bulleted list from here. This way we can add a very descriptive description. We can also go ahead and add a subtask to actually add layers to our task right here on ClickUp. In subtask, I can just go ahead and add this right here. Now I can go ahead and edit it anytime I like. We can also go ahead and add a checklist to our task like we added these. Then we have the attachment option where I can go ahead and drag and drop any file or select a file from my computer. Let's go ahead and add a file here. And you can see a file has been added. Moving on, we have these default options given such as priority. Setting a priority is really important and we can set priorities such as urgent, high, normal, low or clear. Let's go with urgent. Then we can set due dates which is an important option we get on ClickUp. So setting a due date we can select next week, two weeks, eight weeks or we can select a custom date. Let's go with two days and we can also add a time if we like. So this is my due date for the task. Close it and it will be added. Create a new task. When it comes to different tags, we can go ahead and create tags to customize our different task. And to create a new task, you can just go ahead and type in a, the name for the tag. 
and a tag will be created. For example, I have tags such as important and then we have later or pending. Once you add the tags, it will actually help you discriminate between different tasks. Then we have dependencies. We can select different dependencies and for example, waiting on. Tasks that must be completed before this task. So I will click on add this one and let's go with this one right here. Once I select a task and click on done, then a dependency will be added to my task here. I can also share a task with a public or a private link or I can actually go ahead and make it completely private to myself. Or I can invite a completely new person to my team for this task. Then we have our created data and due date as I said. Then we also get the time tracking option. With time tracking, I will be able to track time for my task. All you need to do is just start the timer and it will start tracking the time for this task here. This comes in really handy when you are working and you need to track time and keep track of the hours that you have worked. And you can see right here, my time has been tracked here. We can also select if it's billable and non-billable. So ClickUp is all about saving time and help us manage our work really easily with all these easy options. You can see I have created a task here with my attachment, description, tags, due date, assignees, everything. Now we're good to go and I will be able to do this task really easily with ClickUp. Once a task is done, we can go ahead and drag it to our other statuses if we like or complete check. So yeah guys, this brings us to the end. I hope that I was a big help to you and now you know how to create a task in ClickUp. The link for ClickUp is given in the description down below. Go ahead and check it out right now. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment, turn on bell notification and subscribe to the YouTube channel.